as you know, scarcity drives creativity, right? That's, that's a fact. I also know that scarcity drives collaboration. So the moment, the yeah. moment you remove resources, you empower, you encourage people to collaborate. So that's number one. The second one I would say, when you manage global brands, processes matter. And, and, and let me explain this is, um, the, being super agile, but, but not coordinated can be very risky for a brand like Coke. Right? Let me give you one, one little example, happened to me three weeks back. You know, I, I, as you can imagine, I wake up in the morning and I have already emails from Asia, Japan, China, the latest new idea. So my, my first hour in the morning is, okay, let me check that there's no disaster anywhere, that everything is, <laughs> is going well, or that if I need to act on something. And I had this, this very good proposition from Japan saying, hey, we would like to, to explore moving our brands labelless. So wh what about removing all the labels from the brands? That's gonna, it's, 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 it's not really a big change in the amount of waste, but it's a good, a good symbolic act, right? We will reduce waste. I say, yeah, that's a good idea, but please don't do alone by yourself next month. So let's, let's, let's talk about that because of course it has to be coordinated. It's a global brand. So you need to be agile, but you need to be coordinated. On, on the other way, being coordinated, but taking three years to coordinate doesn't work. You're losing the marketplace. Yeah. So my new mantra is coordinated agility. You need to be able to drive coordinated agility. And that, in my perspective, you achieve that when you connect the network, but you keep clear decision rights. Because the problem with networks, if the decision rights are not clear, it can take forever to align a point of view. Yeah. We've, we've all seen that, I think. We've seen that. Sure. So, and then I